Hello everyone, I'm Dylan. Welcome back to our life. <clears throat> you have any chance to choose where you want to live? I want to live in the country. That's not very fun or smart, Cove. You can't live on a bunch of sand and shells like idiots from Stardew Valley. But I want to, and I will. Cove narrowed his eyes at Lizzie, even though she stood half a head taller than him. How tall is your child? About three to four heads. Okay. <laughs> That's what a psychopath is measuring. You didn't give out lots of things to pick from this time, so I'm picking that. Why are we even paying pretend if we can't imagine anything? Exactly. Jeez, well, I'm gonna live in a mansion that's far away from here and far away from you. With an indoor pool and a place to practice my award winning golfing. How come you were yelling about mine when your idea is even more impossible? Oh, snap! She flushed, her face flushed red, her hands brawling the fist at her side. It's not impossible! It's better than yours! The scream was always seemed to crop up when the two of them were together, and you always felt like you were stuck in the middle. When it came up again, you thought, mm. You were tired of deciding between either one of them. They were both right. No, okay. Honestly, what I would pick, I live on the beach. That'd be no problem. You know, easy. But, man, do you know how... I mean, sure, you have plenty of servants, you have plenty of... All that you had the maids and stuff, but man, that would take so much resources, and you had to take so long to walk everywhere. I think I'd be on the beach is cooler. Who won't live on the beach? It's awesome. You can have windows made from driftwood and cheese sh and shell and cheese shell wind chimes. <laughs> oh, he smiled at me. Then turned to Lizzie with bolstered confidence. You can swim whenever you want to if you live on the beach. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the water. Uh, do we have to go in the water? It's safe on land where there's, you know, I'm safe. Not underwater with all the demon fish things. Because we may tell me when. Where I live now. Being a little closer doesn't mean anything. Says you. And taking care of a pool is hard. The two of them scouted at each other. You're, you're being so unreasonable. You, you. I don't know what's happening. This game doesn't make any sense. It does. You have to be realistic. I said that. But you're not. You, I don't. I don't know what's happening. And we still living on the beach. And when do I get to talk about my gymnastics? You have no idea what to make of them stop at this point. It seemed like they were gonna fight! The thing you said so far kept them from being mad. Thankfully, that greeting card angel, Mom, walked into the room. Oh, but I don't want Mom. I want Mommy. Mm -hmm. Lizzie pressed over here, hanging on the hammer of her, poking out her tongue at Cove. Mom. I mean. <laughs> 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 I don't know why I read that. Lizzie, Lens, it's time It's time to get ready to go. I'm sorry you have to leave already, Cove. Your mommy said that she'll walk you home. Wait. Their mommy said that she'll walk you home so you won't be left in the cold. Cove was glaring at Lizzie, his face flushed with red with anger. I can go by myself. But... Yeah, say my name. Goodbye. There was still a harsh edge to the big farewell, but he knew it wasn't he was you who he was mad at. Like if my chance to stop him, Cove stood up and stalked out of this room, shoulders drawn tight. Okay. Mmm. That's, that's weird. That's weird parenting. I know they're like in a small town and everything, but still. It's dangerous, and there's water all around us on the island, and keep the children safe. She looked down at you, Lindsay. You two were playing nice 
with our new friend, weren't you? I told the truth. It was, we were having fun time and then everyone started fighting. And I was a gymnast. I lived on the beach with my family. We stalked the crabs for dinner because we were poor. <sighs> you betrayed me! As mom put both her hands on her hips. Elizabeth! You be kind to him. He's having a hard time right now. Yeah, I love him. Lizzie's mouth closed back up, replaced by a tiny frown. I know I tried, but he was... How dare you? No buts. We both know you can show someone a great time and you put your mind to it. We're going to apologize to Kobe and dad over the phone when he ever gets home from work tonight. Yeah, but when, when children play, they're, they're never like... We're all equals. Yeah, we're, the, we're the best who ever lived. Yeah, someone's always got to be the Red Power Ranger. You know what I mean? Anyway, Lizzie hung her head, dragging her foot across the ground in front of her. Okay, Mom. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Enjoy all those weird sound bits, you weirdos. You got pieces. You got pieces of. Lizzie sucked into herself. I was her fault too, but it was over. All right, Brick, I move on. Let's go. Let's go. Noah, 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 Lani. No, no, Lani. Where's your candies? We driving up in here. <laughs> she was the first one to request the music to listen to the car, but she didn't say a thing. Her parents know she wasn't in the mood to be their brother. I gave her a space. Mommy just wanted to ask you how you listen to what you like us to. Mmm. Mmm. My favorite song, cool movie, or make Lizzie happy. Ah, yes, I can win by playing both sides. <laughs> both sides! You were happy to see it brighten up for her right away. She started singing along with you. Her bathroom was singing the past. Yay! I spent the twilight hour watching Lizzie hit things with other girls her age. Wait. She, she, watching her hit things? Like what? Like rocks or like animals? It, it matters a lot. You didn't know about golf, but you could tell she really liked it. She, 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 so you sat with her mom to try to puzzle it out. It was nice sitting outside after being cooped up at the house all day, and you stretched out your legs the last few minutes of the sun to let your warm skin get warm! When the sun was gone, dipping beyond the horizon, you got all ready to leave. Why are we here? Instead of going straight home, Mom took your family out to dinner. Went to a restaurant you had been going to ever since you can remember. Wait, were we at like a golf course? What, what was that? The whole afternoon had been a bunch of shining you haven't been able to stop. So you could kind of tell us I'll help us be a little bit less angry. So. The car ride home was quiet, only radio providing escape from silence. Lizzie had been embarrassed for now, but closer you got to your neighborhood, the more she quickly learned she frowned at the window. <laughs> you have to apologize. No! She almost had it clear she was dreading it. Soon enough, Mom was turning over to your street, and we were sitting in the driveway, cutting the ignition dead silent. Mmm. I don't like... Well... Whenever I park my vehicle in my driveway, I always drive straight in, and then I like backing out to leave, because, I don't, I don't know, if, if it's easier to back out, because whenever I leave, it's like daytime, when I get home, it's nighttime, so it's easier to like see things, and it's not like, no need like, stray skunks, or possum, or cats, I have a weird neighborhood. <laughs> no one spoke, only a book of a sleep bus opened the doors, Lizzie was the last one out. You can do it, I believe in you! Now then, Mr. Holden's car is in his driveway. Wait, how do you know that? Are you stalking him? No. <laughs> He's been back from work. That's good news, isn't it, Elizabeth? You and Coke can hash things out before the days is done. Okay, her head ducked. She shouldn't have to meet anyone else's eyes. She nodded once. Good, let's move to the kitchen. All right. Mom went over to the house phone, the rest of you following behind her. 
Mommy put a gentle hand on Lizzie's shoulders as she walked side by side. You watched them from the back. This is only happening because you told on Lizzie. No. This is only happening because Lizzie was being mean. I told the truth. If I would have lied, I would have been like, what's that word? <sighs> Enabling. So, I mean, don't be me. Just be nice. It's not hard. I betrayed my sister. No. If someone's being mean to somebody, and then someone else like comes up and says, hey, what's wrong? And the person says nothing. You say, no. No. You did it. You're a bad monkey. It's your fault. Yeah. I told the truth. The four of you stood around the kitchen and looped. Lopsided square. All eyes were on Lizzie, who kept her gaze at her feet. <laughs> ah, mommy! You remember the number for Nicole's house, don't you, honey? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lizzie jerked her head in another nod. Without further prompting, she stepped forward and began to dial. No, mommy, come back! She reached over the... Press the button to the base, suddenly you can hear the phone ringing. She turned on the speaker. The phone rang a couple times, then stopped. Mr. Holden's warm voice came through on the other end. Oh, look, it's me with a hairstyle. Yeah, look at that. What do you think? Looks good? <laughs> I don't know where I put my camera thing at. Anyways, we'll pause it here. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you eventually. Evening, a holding residence. How did you get my number? I have told no one. Hmm. It's a little concerning. Whatever. <laughs>